What the? What's that all about? I'd watch your back, pal. You're a marked man. How marked? Word is there's a hundred thousand dollar bounty on your head. Mr. McMahon, it is absolutely inexcusable that someone would put a price on my champion's head. If he can't compete, SmackDown loses ratings and revenue. A full investigation is underway and I guarantee that we're going to figure out who put the price on your champion's head. In the meantime, I think it would be best for the champ to lay low for a few weeks until this settles down. What? But that... What I was going to say, uh, um, is that sounds like a great idea, Vince. Mr. McMahon. Big show tonight. You've got a non-title match against a champion who we've just learned has a price on his head. Your thoughts. And champ, when you're too beaten down to defend that title anymore, I'll be first in line for it. A big WWE welcome to all our North American fans from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Michael Cole with Taz and Ringside. I'll tell you something, Cole. These Canadian fans are just as pumped up as the fans back in the States. It's going to be a great show tonight. Taz, do you want to venture any guesses about what we're going to see from these superstars tonight? Well, Cole, the thing I love about these athletes is that it's unpredictable. So not, you know, not really. <laughs> You gotta figure Mr. McMahon's keeping a close eye on this matchup. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Those two hired guns are fighting over the bounty. The champ isn't some animal. He's a human being, damn it. He's a mock man, Cole. I was thinking about trying to claim that bounty myself. He's definitely going to be a lot safer on Raw. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Raw roster. SmackDown's own WWE Champion. I think you'll find we do things a little differently on Raw, and we're a little tougher than you're used to. For instance, here's something that your old general manager didn't have the guts to say. If anyone on this show tries to claim any kind of bounty tonight, they'll be fined 100 $50,000 and suspended for a month. So go and get ready, champ, because tonight's main event is a non-title match between you and Christian. A big raw welcome to all our fans across the world. This is Jim Ross, here with Jerry, the key law. I just hope our foreign fans can understand you with that accent, JR. I will say slobberknocker in French anyway. You can just tell from the caliber of the superstars in the ring that we are going to see a five-star match. There's no doubt, JR. These guys know how to work a crowd as well as they can work over their opponents. You might call him a CLB, JR, but Christian is one of the most successful superstars on the entire roster. He's really doing some damage. I like 
JBL style, JR. We both like the finer things in life. Something like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're just in time for the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. I'm Jim Ross, here with Jerry the King Lawler, and we welcome you to Monday Night Raw. This one's about to get underway, and I think the crowd has already made up their minds about these competitors. Oh, who cares what the crowd thinks they are? This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. success as a tag team wrestler, but JBL has truly shined in singles competition. What a clothesline from JBL! There's no way he's getting up from that one. Take your eyes off Chris Jericho for a second. One, two. Rope break. These superstars continue to size each other up. I don't think this one's about winning or losing anymore. I think it's more personal than that. If he takes too many more of those, he might as well pack it in. That was a hell of a match, champ, but now I've got something important to say. As you know, I've had my people trying to figure out who put the price on your head, and even I was shocked when they told me. You see, it was Eric Bischoff. He figured if it wasn't safe for you, you'd have to leave SmackDown, which would hurt SmackDown by taking one of their champions away. And I've since spoken to Kurt Angle, champ, and you're hereby returned to SmackDown with a title match this Sunday at Survivor Series. All right, I admit it. But Mr. McMahon, you're the last person who should criticize someone for being cutthroat. Would you have done any less to me before I came to work for you? You know, you have a point there. And it was worth it for this. A signed contract giving me the right to put that man right there in a match representing Raw this Sunday at Survivor Series. My God, he's right. He's got the contract. What's SmackDown going to do now, JR? Because this conflict requires a final resolution, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a six-man Hell in a Cell match for the title. A cross-brand Hell in a Cell match this Sunday for the title. And bragging rights. Don't forget that, JR. Raw's going to show SmackDown what real superstars are made of. Gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Series live on pay-per-view. 
along with my broadcast partner Taz, I'm Michael Cole, and what a spectacle this co-production of Raw and SmackDown is going to be. Ain't no doubt, SmackDown and Raw superstars trying to survive a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE title. This ought to be one for the ages. It's not every day that the SmackDown superstars find themselves in the ring against Raw superstars. You can literally feel the tension in the air. This is a Survivor Series to remember. 